With the first rest day over, it was another flat stage for the riders on the route between Ravenna to Modena. From the off, a two-man break materialized involving Bardiani CSF's Luca Covili and Nippo Vinifantini's show Hatsuyama. With 30 kilometers left, the pair were caught by the peloton, leaving it for the GC and sprint teams to maneuver for position. At the two and a half kilometer mark, Francisco Jose Ventoso made his move to unsettle the bunch in a late bid for glory. Well, that's for the count among the pigeons, 2,500 meters to go. Inside a kilometre to go now, and the big gallopers are coming from behind. Oh, Gee, crash. Big crash, and they're down. Ackerman. It could be Marechko, is it? Has Ackerman gone down as well? We've lost the Malia Chiclamina, and others have been delayed. Go for the line on the right hand side of Shot is only DeMar. On the left, it is Gator Bune. To the middle, Viviani wants it. Viviani's going from, he's not going to get it. Oh, DeMar gets the win. Cars were on show as Ackerman managed to ride across the line with his Bora Hans Grohe teammates. The Malia Rosa stayed with Conti for another day. Stage 11 offered another relatively flat profile and with a bunch sprint expected, the question was whether Ackerman could compete with the big sprinters after his crash the previous day. Here comes Viviani, Sabatini desperate to try and lead him out, but Viviani's going to pick up off Caleb Ewan. The launch comes, here comes Ackerman, Ackerman going to the line, has he recovered? Caleb Ewan comes out off the wheel of the German, Caleb Ewan to the line, Caleb Ewan all the way to the line of stage 11, is going to go to the Aussie, Caleb Ewan gets the victory for Lotus Sudal, it's a double success for the Australian, for the Belgian team, and it's Caleb Ewan that gets the win into Novi Laguna. Everyone had his task. Uh, this is the last real, real spin stage. My task was to control the breakaway, um, and then Thomas keep the guys in front, and then the lead-out starts. And when it works out, everything is perfect. Eh? We're really happy. Stage 12 and the first real mountain test where the battle for the overall would heat up. Jan Palance was best placed on GC in the break as the race began to fracture on the climb. Well, the crowd are out in force. We've got about eight, 900 metres through to the top of the Montoso, and this is the first big climb of Giro d'Italia. Down to four, as we've lost Cataldo. Becky's still there. Caruso in the Bahrain Merida sits third as they reach the top of this climb. With 19 kilometers to go, the front group were rejoined by Dario Cataldo and Matteo Montaguti, now with a 12-minute gap over the Malia Rosa. At the 10K mark, Conti was chasing the main GC contenders, but the group ahead was ultimately too strong. Back at the front, and it was all about the battle for the stage, with Cesare Benedetti, Eddie Dunbar, Gianluca Brambilla, Damiano Caruso and Eros Capecchi in prime position. Benedetti comes, Cesare Benedetti to the line, as they all start to roll over the top. Benedetti leads it out, Dunbar tries to get there in time, I don't think he's going to get there, it's Benedetti, Cesare Benedetti survives and sprints to glory on stage 12. The main group of contenders crossed eight minutes and three seconds down, so it was Team UAE Emirates Jan Polans who took the pink jersey off teammate Conti. He now led the race by four minutes and seven seconds over fellow Slovenian Primus Roglic. Stage 13 and the first summit finish. The Giro headed into the Alps. Mikel Landa's aggressive riding served to shake up the GC. 
Roglic, is he being distanced or is he just he's just sat on Yates at the moment? It's uh, the champion of France now dropping out of contention, dropping behind. Oh, Miguel Angel Lopez at just about the worst possible time. Well, there are, there's quite a long way to the top of this hill. If he gets quick service, he's getting it from neutral. Uh, which is not ideal. It looked like his team car, here it comes spare bike. Well, that was an absolute nightmare. Ahead in the lead group, it was Ilna Zakarin who continued to attack. Zakarin goes. Ilna Zakarin has gone for glory. Mikel Neve immediately able to respond. Bauke Molina winching that big gear. Vincenzo Nibali with Primoz Roglic. How far behind are they? Well, it's uh, an expanding amount of time. And now Primoz Roglic finds himself on, the, on his own to try and chase down Mikel Nanda. Could this be the winning attack? Ilner Zakarin goes for glory once more, and Mikel Nieve is going to have to try and close it up. While Zakarin was fighting for the stage, Roglic and Nibali were jostling for GC position. But it's a second stage success for the Russian in his Giro d'Italia career. Arms aloft at the end of five hours and 34 minutes. Landers' continued aggressive riding gained time on his rivals, whilst Roglic and Nibali came in together. Jan Polans kept the jersey with UAE Team Emirates for another day. Stage 14 had five categorized climbs waiting for the main GC contenders to tackle. I'm not among the big favorites to win the GC, so I can maybe enjoy more now in these days. A short stage brought early fireworks with Simon Yates attempting to gain lost time on GC, making his first move with over 100 kilometers to go. Vincenzo Nibali made sure he was with the front group before the main action got underway. The leaders starting to attack each other. Vincenzo Nibali with Primus Roglic absolutely welded to his uh, back wheel. Carapaz in Landa and Lopez in line astern. A response at last from uh, Simon Yates behind, but he's struggling to make the junction. Movistar's Richard Carapaz broke away at the 27-kilometer mark, hunting his second stage win of the race. As the GC contenders fought between themselves behind, the Ecuadorian continued to gain time, building a lead of over a minute. Yates was briefly dropped by the GC favourites, but made it back before going on the attack. It's Yates that goes next. Try and take back some of the time he's leaked in those two time trials on the first two mountain stages. He's going to be given an opportunity. They've almost come to a, a standstill on the road. Out of the saddle and into the final metres. It's victory on stage 14 for Richard Carapaz. But what about Simon Yates? Brave resistance, raced himself back into contention after being behind for so long today. And the man from Berry is going to take second place on stage 14. Nibali led in the GC favourites, but they were still 1 minute and 54 seconds behind new race leader Richard Carapaz. With the race leaving the big mountains, stage 15 saw a two-man break involving Dario Cataldo and Matteo Cataneo, as well as another GC battle behind. Bit of distance between themselves and Roglic when they hit that descent, and quite a way to go before they get there. Here goes Nibali again! Vincenzo Nibali launches! Can Carapaz cover it this time? Yates is feeling the pitch a little bit, and Vincenzo Nibali launches within sight of the top of this final climb. 
With 4.8 kilometres remaining, disaster struck for Primus Roglic, who'd already changed bikes earlier in the stage with a mechanical, losing further time on his rivals. Meanwhile, Nibali put his trademark descending skills to good use. And he's putting a little bit of daylight between himself and Caravan. Vincenzo Nibali is joined by the other trio. Up ahead, the early break stayed away until the finish line in Como. It's going to be Dario Cataldo. Dario Cataldo gets up to next stage 15 of Giro d'Italia to the unbridled joy of the huge crowd here in Como. Simon Yates led Carapaz and Nibali home, whilst Roglic limited his losses to one minute and seven seconds to the pink jersey. On the long run, we need more seconds. On the short term, we need to be conservative and, and just see what other people are going to start doing in terms of, let's say, Nibali against uh, Roglic. It looks like a little bit. That's a battle. You know, we want to win the Giro. That's, I think that's, that's what we want to do uh, as movie star, you know. So if I look at the bigger pictures of the S, it's movie star wants to win the Giro.